Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I am Luke Ness Monster. Today, we're going to be going over all of my personal Star Wars Z Black Series predictions for tomorrow. If you don't know what tomorrow is, tomorrow is Hasbro's Star Wars panel at Star at actually it's actually San Diego Comic Con, and I've got a lot of predictions, and uh, I'm pretty excited to share them with you. So let's go ahead and just jump right into it. Real quick though, if you are not yet subscribed to the channel, make sure to go down, hit that like button, and subscribe because we're actually doing a giveaway. Because we had 7,000 subscribers, we're giving away this Mando build-up pack. You do have to be subscribed to the channel, and if you have not yet entered the giveaway, there is still 6 days left to enter. So make sure to go, like I said, hit that sub button because you do have to be subscribed. And then also go check out my giveaway video with all of the rules and instructions on how to officially enter. That'll be linked in the description and pinned in the card. But go check out that video because it has all of the details you need to enter. So yeah, let's go ahead and jump right into the predictions. First up for predictions, we're going to be going over mainline wave figures. And to be honest, I do have a few predictions for that. Starting off in Black Series Wave 34, which is the next Black Series Wave to come out. There is only one figure that has yet to be revealed in that wave, and this one has been pipelined quite a while ago, but it is actually Grogu and, and his Pram from that wave, and I think that one's going to get revealed to uh, tomorrow at Star Wars or at San Diego Comic-Con. I almost called it a celebration at Comic-Con. Um, you know, uh, interesting figure. I, I think Grogu is in definite need for like a single wide release with his Pram, but the problem is it's just two and a half years late, you know? I mean... Anybody who wanted Grogu in his Pram had a great chance of getting it in two separate Mando build up packs. And so giving him a single release now just seems kind of pointless. The original Grogu peg warmed, and this one's going to be even worse because it's going to be a, a $28 Grogu, you know? Obviously, it's going to come with his Pram and a few extra accessories, but for $28, this thing is going to peg warm so hard. You know, because I, I think, again, Grogu is awesome and his Pram is awesome, but you released it two and a half years too late. Everybody who already wanted one probably already got one. So, you know, it's a cool figure, but it's just not one that I'm super excited for. I, I just think it's going to stay on shelves for a very long time. Next up is Black Series Wave 35. This is an interesting wave because there are a lot of figures from this wave that have not been announced yet. And as of right now, that's because they're rumored to be Andor figures. And we don't really know when these are going to get revealed. I don't think they're going to get revealed today, though, or at least tomorrow during San Diego Comic-Con. And that's because Hasbro tends to like to reveal these, like, the weeks of the episodes when they come out. For example, they did Obi-Wan Wednesday, so I'm assuming they're going to do something for Andor as well. And then, like, a certain day of the week they will reveal Andor figures. And then these four figures will get revealed. That's my guess, so I don't think these four Andor figures are going to get revealed. But there are a few other figures from that wave that I think might. And one of them is actually just called New Game Character. And Yak Face did post this earlier today. I did make a news video talking about it. But it's a photo of Starkiller. And he pretty much rumored to to pretty much replay the games because they're going to come in handy. Which kind of makes me think that we're going to be getting a Black Series Starkiller figure. You know, especially with this rumored game figure. I think it just fits in perfectly. And I think Starkiller is going to get revealed. And with all of the recent Plastic Free Package news, I actually did make an entire video talking about that as well. But uh, with the reveal of Plastic Free Packaging for the Black Series, I do believe everything in Black Series Wave 35 will be Plastic Free. little unfortunate, but, you know, it, I guess it is what it is. But if you do want my full thoughts on Plastic Free, make sure to go check out that video. It'll be pinned in the card right now. And, you know, there is always gaming grades reveals at these kind of events. So I think we're going to be getting at least one Gaming Greats figure, and I think that's going to be a Black Series Scorch. It's the last member of Delta Squad we don't have yet. It's about time we get him. So I think the next Black Series Gaming Greats figure is going to be a Scorch. You know, other than that, it's kind of up in the air. There's always, you know, some lightsabers or helmet reveals of these kind of things too. I think that the Black Series Darth Vader Force Effects Elite Saber is going to get revealed. This one has already been leaked and we do have images of it. I'll throw up a photo right now. I think this is going to get officially revealed. Like I said, we've already seen this fig uh, this lightsaber, so it's not going to be a huge surprise. And since it was already leaked, I wouldn't, like I said, I wouldn't be surprised if they go ahead and reveal it anyway. And then... 
There is some interesting things with helmets. As of right now, there are two rumored helmets for the Black Series. One of them is a Revenge of the Sith Clone Trooper helmet, which is awesome. We totally need that in the Black Series. And, uh, you know, it's about time. So I really hope that one gets revealed. But there's another one with a code name that I do not remember. So I do apologize. I'll throw it up on the screen for you guys, though. And, uh, you know, the code name doesn't really mean anything. But I think this one is going to be a Scout Trooper helmet. The 40th anniversary of... Uh, Return of the Jedi is actually next year, so we're about five months away from that as of right now. Actually, pretty close to only four months away from that. And we have not seen anything on the 40th anniversary of Revenge of, or Return of the Jedi. And, uh, you know, we actually have had some, like, it showing up in different people's systems and stuff like that. But I think it's about time they start announcing that kind of stuff just so the pre-orders can get in and they can actually ship out these products by 2023. And so because of that, I think... One, we're going to be getting the Scout Trooper helmet. I think it's perfect. It's Return of the Jedi themed. It's a Stormtrooper helmet that they can repaint several different ways. And it's just an awesome OT helmet that people will buy. So I think the Scout Trooper helmet is definitely going to get a release. But I also think that the first five figures from the 40th anniversary of Return of the Jedi are also going to get revealed. I don't know what these figures are going to be completely. Maybe like, I think they're going to be main characters like a Lando, Luke, Leia, Han, Chewie. Figures like that, Vader maybe, you know, figures like that. I can go into a full in-depth review or prediction of the 40th anniversary of Return of the Jedi maybe later, but um, I just hit my mic. I do apologize if you heard that. Um, but yeah, I, I think that we're going to get this first wave. Like I said, we're about four months away from 2023, which means that as of right now, they got to get these 40th anniversary figures announced and revealed sometime, like I said, so they can go up for pre-order and actually release by 2023. These figures have already been showing up in different people's systems as well. So I think it's about time. I believe it was actually Walmart or Target. I cannot remember. But they're showing up in computer systems, which means they're about to get released. So I think San Diego Comic-Con is a perfect time to reveal it. So anyway, that is just a few of my predictions. If you did enjoy it, the like button and subscribe. Comment down below what you guys think are going to get revealed. And, uh, you know, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video.